Fire guys, I'm your boy D'Anthony, I'm my boy Don, my boy C-Jack here, Yo. back in action with us. I'm a little hoarse, so you gotta bear with me a little bit. A little. But, a little um, horse. He's like a little Sebastian. <laughs> 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 but we're here. So we did you guys a favor, and we saw Alien Covenant. Yeah, Covenant. Um, that did happen. Um, wow. Wow. Um, <laughs> I was really looking forward to this movie. I was too, man. Like I don't know if you guys like Prometheus as much as we did, but I, I love that movie. And it's like aliens. Yes. So if, if it yes. says aliens, I'm there. Yeah. Prometheus or not, yeah. aliens. I'm like, oh. Yeah. I don't care if it's a continuation or not. Oh. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Exploration of, franchises. of the great unknown, trying to figure out where we came from. So we're just back at it again in mm. this movie. We're back at it. It's, it's supposed to be a continuation of Prometheus, so we right. can actually see where... We all come from, I guess. Explanations. That's what we were hoping for. Um, I'm just gonna say, just gonna say it. Uh, for all you real true fans that are waiting for a big reveal, this is a, this is a spoiler review, okay, Spoil guys. Spoiler right now. You've been right warned. Now. You've been right, warned. Three, two, one. Here we go. Spoiler right. up. So if you're a true fan and you're just waiting to see where either humans came from. Or you're waiting to see where aliens, aliens came from. Or those... Uh, you're not going to get that. Or those creator people. You're yeah. going to still be wondering. Where they came yeah. from. Yeah. yeah. You're still going to be wondering. You're going to be super confused I still don't time. know if I'm from some giant ripped albino yet. Probably, <laughs> probably man. You're like pretty ripped. I don't know. I mean, we don't know where... <laughs> this I mean, we don't know not... much about them. So, <laughs> yeah. there's so much that I feel like, like all the internet nerds... We're not internet nerds, but the internet nerds... Mm -hmm. We kind of are, but... <laughs> you know, they're going to just kind of rip apart, you know, like they see, they get a, another signal right. for, from another um, beacon, beacon. Uh, some uh, echoed uh, signal that was sent off. And it was the one chick from the sole survivor of Prometheus. Right. Yeah. So they're doing a spacewalk and all of a sudden the one guy on the spacewalk yeah. gets this signal. Right. <laughs> but the big ass shit, but the big ass antennas don't. They had an explanation, but it still was yeah. like... Oh, it's because you were kind of far out. Yeah. It's like, yeah, he was out of the ship. Yeah. He was out of the buffer zone, apparently. Yeah, he, so, yeah. he like walked down the street to fix some solar panels, yeah. and he got the signal. That's an example. There's going to be a bunch of those like that. Well, so we do open up with, with the, the entry with the, the, the you know, we have, uh, what's it called, Walter, who's the new... The new uh, the robot. Android, Android, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, looks exactly like David from the last movie. And mm -hmm. uh, we come in with the, the, a new ship that's actually pretty badass. Like, I, I, I did like I the ship. I, like when they opened up the solar panels and everything, I, like, I, okay, I thought it was okay. really cool. That. Yeah. Top yeah. ship of all time to me is the one from Passengers. Passengers. That so, was dope. That was and I, I did say that. I was <laughs> like, this <laughs> is kind of like Passengers. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be like a rated R Passengers. <laughs> but here, no there. Yeah, Go but, ahead. Um, no, but essentially we get that ship coming in, and then from the get go we kind of get dropped in the bucket. This freaking, you know, sonic boom out of nowhere comes and and fucks up everything. It's like, like an energy wave, yeah. Right? And yeah. I thought it was like, oh shit, Galactus any minute now, right? right? <laughs> <laughs> and we we go through the ship and we find that uh, they're carrying embryos, yeah. And some of them are, are are up and some of them aren't. And then we get to meet the new team, and then. Further down the bucket, you know, you know, we, we come across a, a new uh, planet. We lose our captain. We lost our captain. Right off the bat, we yeah, lose our it? captain. Well, well, James, Franco. James Franco. James, James Franco. Franco. Yeah, I didn't see him at all. He's like, dude, like, okay, you're, you're going to be in our new Alien movie. And he's like, I could imagine him getting pitched this. And he's like, cool, what yeah. role? We want you for captain. Yeah. Whoa. Yes. <laughs> you die in the first 10 minutes. What? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he was a producer, though. Huh? Like, are he no? He's a good friend of really Scott or something. I always think, like we see cameos like that. Yeah, and I'm like, why? <laughs> why? Why yeah. even do that? Why it, waste your time? It's just funny. I guess I would at least want to go out troll with some crazy dead alien fight. Like, yeah, yeah. But, I thought that would have been cool. Uh, he, yeah. You know what? He would have been a great personality. For the ship, because honestly, we didn't get any real there personality. Was, it seemed like no everyone had pretty with. much the same personality, really. Yeah. It's just like everyone was just really like... Latino like guy had a little bit of personality. A little bit. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that was mostly his accent. <laughs> like, oh, my fist. <laughs> oh, este cabrón. <laughs> the acid. Well, it's just yes, character. It's <laughs> the character. Caricature, I yeah, guess. Yeah. Whatever. I mean, he was only I could really kind of try to connect with the the new captain was just like uh, yeah. he was so. He's like, I insecure. guess I'm the I'm, I'm the captain now, right? I just you believe like him in me, don't you? Yeah. 
Like, yeah. what? It's like, yeah. like you, okay, don't be a dick now, because these guys might be our neighbors, you know? Yeah, it, it was bad. They uh, might as well not even kill the captain, really. I, I think the thing is, like, it's not that I didn't like the movie, because there were, there, I, I mean, visually it was great. We got to see the, 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 you know, the aliens that we're used to. Mm -hmm. We got to see some other breed of the aliens. We got a little yeah. bit more insight in this for how, how they were developed. Yeah. Um, you know, and, uh, but at the same time, it's just, you, you're still left with so many questions. So it's hard to, we, I didn't get attached to a character. Right. I, I didn't, you know, I definitely got my villain complex. Yeah. I got no hero complex. And no. I just, uh, I was looking for continuity. When I was yeah. watching this, yeah, I watched it because it said aliens. Yeah. Favorite movie. I love the first one. I actually like one, two, and three. I know three gets bashed, but I like one, two, and three. So I'm looking for continuity here. We get Prometheus out of nowhere. Yeah. And I'm like, oh shit. Oh, this is about the aliens. Yeah, it's going to explain No where answers from. there. Uh. So I'm like, for sure. We're yeah. going to get some answers. Yeah. Where's my continuity? I, honestly, I feel like there's no continuity. No continuity. Ah, sorry, my throat. No continuity between Prometheus and this one. No, not at all. Not even that. Not even one movie later. Well, yeah. I mean, essentially, they're colonized. They're going to colonize a new planet because human species tore up the planet. We got to go find another one. Okay? Global warming. Man. We yeah. know it. We yeah. Know it. Yeah. yeah, same shit. I'm waiting for it now. Okay. <laughs> um, and so, like, they uh, finally get to this planet. And it, it's where the Prometheus ship took them. Uh, the one chick from the Elizabeth. Uh, yeah, the end of Prometheus, she goes to doc, go find where the signal originates. So From their creators. Right. That's where we start off. So. Every, all these freaking uh, other alien creator uh, albino people are like, oh, <clears throat> look, a new ship or, or, you know, whatever ship came back to us. Well, it's almost like they were embracing it when it came back. Like, they were. Yeah. Maybe they thought they would they come back from a successful mission. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So That's we my issue with that. that. Mm -hmm. No continuity there at all. No. So when they... So the new crew finds a ship crash in the mountains. Right. So we're like, oh, shit, they must have crashed when they tried to find the, the aliens, which I wouldn't ever went. So when the girl went in mm -hmm. Prometheus to go find the creator, they, they owe me an answer. No, they don't. Right. I would never went, but they find it crashed. When Dave is telling the story, he, they just swoop in for a nice little landing and then destroy everything. Right. Well, I'm like, well, what happened? Yeah. Which one do we get? Yeah. When did it crash? Yeah. Did he crash it afterwards? And see, that's that's where I mean with the, the questions. The thing is, that there's enough. They give you, they give you like I don't know. There's a percentage, and it just wasn't enough. But I'm sitting here thinking, okay, well, how how did this work? Because it, it did crash. David released the virus, you know, and there and, and there's this big love schema between him and Elizabeth. So it's like I'm trying to think, okay, did they? What happened between the both of them? Did he do something she didn't like? Cause the ship to crash and all this chain reaction. David takes over. And, and, and then we find her later on completely dissected on a freaking table. And yeah. I'm irritated because I really liked her in the first movie. So now she was the an hero. amazing yeah. lead role, a uh, female lead role, is gone. And the, the female role in this one just, I liked her in yeah. the beginning. But solely as it shredded, they just took away from her character because they focused on the other captain. Which, I didn't like him at all. Yeah, and, and you know what, you, you're, you're bringing up really good points there. Yeah, so and the, the contrast between the characters in Prometheus and in this movie. Yeah. You know, in the in, in Prometheus, I loved it because of the characters. You know, we had Idris Elba, and he yeah. would be singing, and he was a, like, captain kind of, you know, like, yeah. going along. And then we had Charlize Theron, where she was, like, kind of running the thing for Waylon. And then we had, like, you know, the Dr. Elizabeth that was, like, kind of just, like, you know, being Even that the hero. Died, yeah, had more the, yeah, yeah the all the people that died. Yeah. Like, all the people that died had character. Yeah. And then this <laughs> one, it's just like you kind of know, like, okay, there ain't gonna be no survivors. We know, <laughs> we, we know how this shit goes. Dying. Right. It's like for Meteos, it was like, all right, let's get the hype up. Let's put some big names in there. All right, we killed them. We got everyone hyped up. Everyone died. So in this one, we know like like no one here is living. Like, yeah. There's no stage presence from anyone. Yeah. yeah. So we know everyone's going to die. And so right away, I think that's why they like gave us like the whole like boom effect, yeah. de deaths right away. So anyway, they're, they're they're on this new planet, right? And they're finally like going about, and there's these spores. So yeah, they're, that's oh my god. They're, they're finding these random spores, but the only way I can think about these spores actually being around is when David released them. They couldn't have been there before. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm thinking. It, maybe, I mean, he had 10 years to just roll well, around. Well, that's that he yeah. actually, no, he actually he goes into that because when we get into David's world, because David has been there for, what, seven, seven ten years? years. Ten, 10 years now? Mm -hmm. And they have all these diagrams and they have all of these, he has all these drawings of human anatomy, mm -hmm. alien anatomy, dissected aliens, and then we, you know, we find Elizabeth dissected on a table. Mm -hmm. And it's almost like he used her 
her genes and her, her DNA to start creating. And he talks about how he started experiencing with the, experimenting with the virus yeah. and creating and creating and creating. That spore could have just have been one of his things, but, um, you know, because it, it could have been the step towards the eggs. Now, if I think about it now, because they actually just look like upside down coconuts, um, <laughs> but they, they release this little spore thing. I'm sorry. Like, I'm just trying to really analyze. They do movie. look like coconut. They're and, like fuzzy little coconuts yeah. in the ground that like you squeeze them and then spores <laughs> attack you. <laughs> yeah, that's in the trailer. You guys saw it. Yeah, you just, you pet Stepped them. Stepped on it. And, yeah. 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 But, but um, I just, you know, my you, only thing about that is I didn't see that in any of his documents. No. So for me, I thought maybe that's just the residue from when he dropped it down. That that's the only thing that makes sense because I don't want to. I I don't think that the viewer should have to think as far as we're as thinking yeah, into I'm it. I'm trying to make sense of it. Like I'm really really yeah. thinking about it. You know, it's like okay, you know, things in this order, but I shouldn't have to do that. From what so I got from it's it, a big is, problem. It's David created the xenomorphs that we saw in 1979. Yeah, that he created those because he he said he's doing some experiments. And yeah. look at my beautiful eggs, right? Which yeah. look like the ones in the original. Yeah. And we hadn't seen that in Pr Prometheus mm -hmm. at all. So like, well, did he create that? Mm -hmm. To me, that's what that's what happened. Well, no, that is it, 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 it's exactly it. Because we, when we got to see the actual <coughs> alien that we're used to, mm -hmm. that that was straight up David's creation. Right. And so it's like you know, looking for the moral of the movie. Like, what were you trying to say in this movie? And it was more or less we created David. David didn't want to serve, so David created because he was that was the one thing they told him that he couldn't do. Yeah. His 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 um robot version, um, they he says it in the movie, I was not built to create. I was allowed to do everything else but create. Mm -hmm. And so he hated his dad, he hated the limitation, he hated the, the human race, so in turn he wanted to create something that was better and superior. So, yeah. so you know, he's and got some daddy there's issues. the motive. Yeah, he definitely got daddy issues. He needs a hug. I just don't like that. I, you know what? I don't like that. I don't like any movies that has any doubles in them. So when it's two of the same person, you kill it for me. You know, that's that's what really did it for uh, Now You See Me Too. Because they had those doubles in there. Right, 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 right. <clears throat> and I'm like, oh, God. I, I just don't think that they're creative enough. And th that was another thing. So you're talking about the cast and how individual uh, the cast was in the previous Prometheus movie. And in this one, who's our villain going to be? Uh, double. <laughs> 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 well, double down. <laughs> and and it didn't work out for them. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, did they pay him twice the salary to do both? Or... Uh, I don't know. I mean, it worked in the social network. <laughs> the other thing, kind too, of. I don't know if you they were twins, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you notice that Walter, his tone of voice was similar to the android in the first Aliens movie? Mm -hmm. I, I, I thought about that, too, because like, it, it sounded like him, because I, re you know, I remember watching those ones, and it just, I don't know, those, those are the one in the original one was a dick, too, though. Like if you go back and watch it, like all the things that he, all his decisions oh, yeah. were dick moves. Oh, yeah, definitely. It was like, oh, I see. Now I see why he wanted to go ahead and dissect them or put him on there or didn't want to take the thing off his mouth. Oh, right. Yeah. He was a dick, too. Yeah. I don't know. I like Walter a little better because he seemed like someone oh, no, I, would, I, liked, I'm just saying the I would kind of, of trust to be like, around. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. He was saying all the right stuff. It's yeah. my duty and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. David is just like no, he's, he's, off the chain. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. he's AI. He, he's um, on yeah, he thought. He, he went completely rogue. Right. And so, I mean, finally, when they're on the planet and they're all getting attacked by these spores, you know, uh, they, get, they get a couple of different mutations. We got these protomorphs, xenomorph, like, creatures and stuff. And I'm cool with that. And I, I, I wouldn't say I, I hated that. I just want to see more. And, that's why I say there's no continuity between two films. It looks totally different than the one we saw in Prometheus. Yeah. So, I'm like... Why give me that mm -hmm. with like a human mouth kind of? Yeah. To this thing that has like I don't know some little the, the, the kick out yeah I, I, yeah the mouths are different the I, mouths it are was different. just yeah. it was just weird it was very weird you know and you know so we got one of these new uh, protomorph characters these white looking alien like the xenomorph and it seemed like David could actually control them or he was trying to communicate with them to control them. Yeah, they didn't, ex they didn't explain that either. Yeah, no, th that was, there's some type of communication barrier there. The other thing I just randomly thought of, too. He's like, blow on their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Move! Uh, boom! Boom! And boom. Understand me. <laughs> yeah, that was so weird. Yeah. Like... So on, the, on Prometheus, they left that planet, but there was still a bunch of stuff there to, to, <clears throat> that created these... There was that first initial like snake creature, right? So those are still mm -hmm. left on that planet, okay? Well, that's, actually, that was on the ship. 
Was on the ship? That was on the ship. It was, it was on the, the ship. ship. Yeah, okay. it was it's in the ship. ship. Right. Yeah. I just um, saw it the other day. So. Yeah. So, um, but I'm, I'm wondering, you know, there was a lot, a lot of shit left there. So I'm wondering, I don't know, just random thought, but are you trying to set up for multiple races of these aliens now? Because on this planet, we've left the spore of this other one. And there's two, there's one of those white albino aliens still left alive. And that was created from the genes of Elizabeth. I don't know. I'm just maybe I'm overthinking this, but I'm trying. I'm yeah, trying to put something into this movie. Yeah, right? he kills each species. <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't know. I don't maybe know. You're, maybe you're trying to open up for different races. I don't know. I'm really just trying to pull what I can from this movie. I don't like just to rip on them. Yeah. So I really try to find like what were you trying to do with this? I mean, ultimately, so, like what I wanted out of this movie was I wanted answers. I wanted to know who these creators were. And why they did what they did, you know, why they created life on Earth, and why they created these other pods to create other life, like these xenomorphs. So basically, Adon is the male version of Elizabeth, and he wants answers! I got nothing out of this And that's funny, because I don't watch those movies for that. I watch just to see people give effed up. <laughs> and I didn't really get that either. Derek likes his death. You know, yes, I do. You know, I, I really do. Yeah. And the trailer to me was better than the movie it really because was. the trailer was like, oh shit, yeah. he got him locked in a room. Yeah. <laughs> like, Open the, the door. Oh man, when they when they initially you know got uh, attacked, this one guy, and they locked him in the room with this other chick, and they would not open up that that door. I was like. Damn, I'd have been pissed off. Like that that that's where like it got really good. It got really suspense. But that's the tension. Yeah. But when it really happened, it was like, oh, it's a little midget. Thing. It's a little like <laughs> it's a little like little thing crawling out. Yeah, it's like a little giant rat. And yeah. Then, I don't know. It just wasn't the same death as I'm used to with the xenomorphs. Right. Like ah yeah, the tail. Ah, ah, like, I, ah, yeah, I need yeah. I needed that. And we had too many of the little miniature deaths. Yeah. And not enough of like the xenomorph. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I. If I don't care about the continuity, if I can get some awesome deaths, <laughs> like hearts coming out, ah, like I'm with it. But I didn't get that either. Wait, I think we got one scene like that. No, it was like, a shower scene that everyone saw. One like, scene, two yeah, and a half. That was the movie. one scene that was yeah. pretty brutal enough for me. Like where you just like freaking like saw the thing go through his mouth, guy's mouth. He's like, Bleh. yeah, yeah. And that's just so, one. Though. I need yeah. more. I need that's more. what I'm saying. Like no, definitely that was solid one. kill. <laughs> You know, <laughs> sure. so you got no killing spree. So like, I mean, <clears throat> wrap up the movie and like when when you get to the very end, so you predictable. know, it's it's pretty predictable. You so know, predictable. the alien goes off. Um, everyone's being put back to sleep. Which I mean, at this point, we really got two. We got the one guy and then the one girl yeah, that we, we the follow. double, the double, the double. Yeah. You know, and so you know, they're full of thinking that that Walter. <laughs> Or that David, David is Walter. Yeah. And I'm like, that's David. Yeah. That's David. That's 100% David. Like, come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. He, he even grins as they're trying to, like, kill this one last xenomorph, right? And so I'm like, yeah, definitely now. For sure. For sure. Yeah. I was just, that was just, to me, today movies, they don't have endings. Like, the creators, the writers, producers don't know what to do with a goddamn ending. Yeah, yeah. They're like, uh, I don't know, uh, the double, well, he I, tricked everybody. And, like, and, and you know I what? <laughs> I, I think that the best part of when he actually puts her to sleep, I mean, she figures it out last minute. She's like, oh, fucking David, don't, oh. And then he's like, don't let the bed bugs bite. And I thought that was the best shit. <laughs> was that so was creepy. like his last, like, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, sleep. Yeah, it was real <laughs> creepy. It was real creepy. And playing off that, so th I mean, there's a couple key things that I'm, I'm really, I, I'm not upset about, but I'm just like, I, I'm left lingering still. Like, I, I'm not gonna be Linker. upset. I'm not gonna let this movie ruin my freaking day. I just saw some pretty cool stuff, Ruined. but I'm a little irritated because one. <clears throat> You know, you left me hanging on the last movie. I'm sitting there thinking, okay, Elizabeth's going to go down to these people, and she's going to walk up to the door like a little midget and be like, <laughs> excuse me, daddy! You know, like, you know, and, we, you know, we, I didn't get that. I, I lost my, my favorite main character. You left us cliffhanging again. You didn't explain half the, half the stuff in the first movie, and then you're leaving more openings for this one. Yeah. And it's just like, I mean... This goes back to do five more movies. Does, so. does every series have to be a trilogy now? Like, why can't? Because it, it seems like that's what most most of the movies are doing. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna set it up for three movies. Everyone's making a trilogy. It can be five. No, stop it. 
franchise. Stop it. Like, I mean, all hell the franchise. Every movie should individually be set on its own, so I can watch each one. There's a beginning, middle, and end, and a climax, and I'm, I'm broken in. And this is just, it's like a continuous slow and This is like watching Dragon Ball Z and Goku charging for 20 episodes. <laughs> That's what I'm going to compare it to. I love my Dragon Ball Z. I love my Dragon Ball Z. Lend yeah, me your energy. I loved it, but how many episodes is he going, ah! Like, yeah. all right, bro. As many as he likes. Bro, like, charge Keep up charging. already? You're supposed to be this epic guy. Charge up. But, it, but that's what I feel like. That's honestly yeah. what I'm left sitting, sitting here feeling like I just watched another 30-minute addition to the last movie. Yeah. I don't feel like I was in there for that long. Yeah. 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 Sorry, guys. Truly. We Truly. don't mean to bash it, yeah. but I, mean, I think eventually all the little is. internet nerds are going to bash it anyway. Yeah. Because there's so many little bitty things you can nitpick on. Right. That's like, oh, gosh. And then we don't get real deaths like you really want to see. Not really. So I honestly feel like I have to go back and watch all the Alien movies, then watch Prometheus again, and then just watch, watch this one again to see how no, many no, strokes no, are no, you really so don't. disappointed. No, I'm yeah. saying that, I shouldn't have to do that. Like, But I feel like I have to in order to right. remotely try no, to understand No, I movie. get I get it. In yeah. the whole Absolutely. series, this is a skip. This is a hard pass. You could this, just skip it. Yeah. This movie's a You're hard You're not task. getting any more information. We pretty much gave you the premise. Oh, I mean, man. if they come out with another one, which they probably are, hopefully they answer everything, but it just it's stuff with too much. So, so when you talk about sequels <clears throat> that are pretty bad, I mean, some of the ones that come up are like uh, Independence Day Resurgence, and this is like right there with it. Oh, man. And I'm like thinking like Terminator 3 well, is there with acting. it. Well, not bad acting. The acting was still good. <laughs> was it? Yes. Independence Day Resurgence yeah. should never resurge in being claimed as a movie, period. <laughs> yeah, that one <laughs> should have been just this put back in the drawer. I don't really count, count this one as, as, as horrible. But a, it definitely a, as much as I like like the Predator movies, the Alien movies, this one for me is like a hard pass. Super pass. If I ever need to watch this one, if they plan on making five more movies and I want to binge watch them, I'm going to watch Prometheus I'm going to forward the hell out of this movie. Like, oh, yeah, I remember this. This is terrible. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Death, death. Yeah, there's, cool. there's play, no play. continuity to it, so there's not a real reason to really watch it. No. Like, you're just going to, I guess we'll find out next time. Tune in next time. And yeah. Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> right. I'm curious. I want to know how many of these you plan on making because I want to know how many I should just not go watch until you get to the last yeah, one. five more. Five. Unless we come out with these every year, I don't really give a shit. You're going to come out every three years, you can just kill the four or five. It, if you're like explain Saul. everything in the last no. movie, then I'm just going to wait till they're all out. I'm not going to go see it in the movie theater. Like, I'm sorry. It's oh, just, man. I don't, I don't want to wait that long for an explanation. Definitely like, not a big blockbuster. Well, at least yeah. explain some of it because, I mean... Now we don't know what happened on the planet with David. Now we don't know what happened on the planet before. And, no. and Elizabeth's gone. You killed Elizabeth. You what know. happened with the creators? I mean, was this the only planet of these creators? Uh, right. Or was this and just like one colony? Boom, they're all dead. One colony. Yeah. Killed them all. Superior yeah. race. Like, <laughs> yeah. I will admit, though, that's, that whole I scene was pretty creator. epic. Like, it was when epic. They, when they walked Until in. Until it was over. Yeah. And yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Blink of an eye. That's what I'm saying. There's good elements Drop to this the mic. Boosh. Yeah, there are definitely good elements to this movie. But damn, like... Yeah, all right. Yeah, usually I'm the rebuttal with these guys, and I'm, I'm out here feeling the same way they are right now. So go ahead and give it your final verdict. Uh, <sighs> what are you going to give it? A 1 out of 10? Did you I like it? I this because I just, I mean, <laughs> there's elements that I liked, but the thing is, I always try to pull what I like, and not to get into some long banter, but it's I, it's really hard for me to give it a number, but out of the box right now, I'm, I'm going to give it a 4, but it's going to get a 4 from me. I just, mm. you know. Yeah. 4... I'm you know, sorry, and I'm usually the optimistic one, guys. He is. He's just like, you guys gave it a five, but I thought it was a perfect movie. I love this shit. <laughs> you know, honestly, this is the epitome of living with blue balls, and I'm just not enjoying it, okay? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm right there with you, man. Like, if I have to rate this, I'm going to give it like a four, too. It, it's, it's not an average movie. It's below average. I could even give it a freaking three because... You know, if there was a character, if there was character development or like a character that I really liked in this movie, then I would. Because a lot of these movies that I give harsh scores to, the only reason that bumps it up is because these actors are really good. Yeah. And I didn't really get that. But I think I don't think it was entirely their fault. I think it was just written bad. They didn't give us any information about these aliens. There's a lot of things that I left. I'm like, okay. Director's cut, maybe. I'm just done. I don't know. Okay. There. So. Four out of ten. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna give it a four. A royal flush. <laughs> it reminds. It reminds me of Rogue One, to where it had a lot of this information that really doesn't pertain to 
how we got there. There's a, there wasn't even a lot of information, though. <laughs> so, but um, what I'm saying, like, we don't know how we, we right. still don't know how we got there. Right, right. Sonic Boom, <laughs> you're there. Right. <laughs> uh, there's no real character development. It's kind of like Rogue One. I don't really care about any of those characters. I know they're going to die, but can I like them, though? Can I care they're going to die? Nah. And I didn't care they were going to die in this movie, either. Yeah. But yeah. it wasn't terrible. It's just that I'm a fan, and I've seen it since 1979, or whenever it came out, mm -hmm. and that movie still holds up to death. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, I got to compare it to that, and it just doesn't do it for me. I will skip Rogue One whenever I watch them all in a row. <laughs> I will, I'm going to start it. Bitter scene. The <laughs> yeah, last 45 scene. minutes. Yeah. Last 45 minutes. <laughs> right. Yeah. And that's it. And yeah. then this one, I'm going to also skip it. I, I'm thinking I'm going to skip the whole thing. Yeah. Just because I don't get much. So I'm going to give it a five. Just because it just reminded me of Rogue One. It's not worse than Rogue One. It's just not what I'm looking for. So For me, this movie has zero rewatch value. I, I don't need to rewatch this movie again. I don't want to waste I might my time. Watch it if it's on. Hey, do you want something to drink? Flipping through channels. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably if there's a director's cut, I'll probably watch it. If there's a director's cut, maybe i I'm probably gonna watch it. Just because I'm gonna see if if there's an extra, like, five minutes, I might get I'll, one thing. I'll let know? somebody do the work for me. Like, if you watch the director's cut and say, dude, you got to watch this, then I probably would. Other mm. than that... No, just tell me the parts. Just tell me what you, what you <laughs> saw. Because yeah. I'm not going to watch it again. Bring it down for me. Yeah, so I'm going to give it a five out of ten, guys. So you got four, four, five. Yeah. I mean... That's our review. Yeah. Break Room Blitz. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Last time, we got a lot of views, but we got some dislikes. Be a man or a woman. And tell us what you disliked about our video. Let us know. I want to know. I want to know. I'm just curious, just like this movie. Yeah, if it's first conversation, I'm always looking for comments. <laughs> I will respond to you for sure. So, go ahead and comment, guys. Um, what's your favorite? What's your favorite uh, alien movie, real quick? Uh, you know, I will always go with the first one, just because I loved being introduced to that world. I'm sorry, it was just. Yeah, I love you, Sigourney Weaver. I'll still marry you. I, I like that first one, but for me, Prometheus brought it back for me. I don't know why. Well, I like one and three. I'm going to just say it. All right. Here's the second thing. Just one and three. Just, just to get a toss in there. So the original movies are still doing better than these new movies. Oh, totally. And they were all done with prosthetic and, and traditional. <laughs> Hollywood, get your sh together. You know? Yeah. yeah. Oh, what's your favorite? I, I, get oh, you said Prometheus? I said Prometheus. Yeah. Oh, wow. There you go. Yeah. So let us know what your favorite alien movie is. And if it's this one or not. Uh, I will respond if you tell me that. Yeah. Especially if it's this one. <laughs> or Alien vs. Predator. Bitch, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, guys. That's it. I'm Anthony. I'm done. See yeah. Jack. Whoa. And we're out, baby. You forgot your name. Peace. Peace. I know you forgot your name. I didn't realize <laughs> you your name.